stampers this is dawn and today we're gonna make this triangle treat box isn't it cute so this is one of our featured project from the stampin anonymous tutorials for this month for the month of april and everyone that places an order with me for the month of april you'll get a link for these six tutorials so the idea is that the featured project which is this box will show you like at least maybe six different ways to use the tutorial that's listed in this Stampin' Anonymous tutorials for April. So this is my version on that tutorial. Isn't it cute? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our box, we're using the Costa Cabana cardstock, and this piece is cut at four by six, and we're gonna use the Stampin' Trimmer for that. And then I've already got a piece of scrap for the Whisper White to stamp our butterflies. And then I went ahead and already die cut out the circles for the the greeting on the front of our box which is this right here so we're going to stamp on that and we're going to add that to the front of the box and these are using the layering circle dies okay so let's grab our trimmer all right so for our box we're going to take the four inch side across the top and i'm going to use a pencil making sure this is four inches yep and then we're going to line this up at two this edge right up here at two inches and then we're going to take our pencil we're going to make a little tick mark at the top and the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and score on the 6 inch side at 3 inches. Let me make sure this is 6. No, check twice, cut once. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to score at 3 inches. Okay, so we're going to fold this score line here so I can see where we're going to be scoring. So now we're going to score lining this pencil line up with this score line here on our track of our trimmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and line that up. And then we're going to score. Then we're going to turn it and do the other side the exact same way. So line up the score line with the pencil line. Right there. Okay, so you should have like a V here that's going to make the triangle part of the box. Now we're going to do the other side the exact same way. So take that pencil line and line it up with that 3 inch score line. Now we're going to go ahead and erase our pencil line. All right, so if you want to stamp on your base of your box, this would be the time to do it before you actually fold your score lines, but I'm not going to do any stamping on my box today. So we're just going to go ahead and fold the score lines. Let me get my bone folder. And I like to fold them both ways just so that you get a really nice fold there on the box. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add some tear and tape. So now this is gonna be the front of my box. If this, if this was stamped, it would definitely show that this was the front of my box, but I'm gonna make this the, the inside of the box. So we're gonna grab our tear and tape. Okay, so we're gonna take our tear and tape and we're going to put it on the outside edge on the right side and then one on the left. Okay. Okay, so I want to take my take your pick tool. I'm going to peel off the backings of our tear and tape. All right, now we're going to fold up our box. So we're going to fold up one side at a time. And then we're going to punch our hole here. So we're going to fold in this side over here. Press that down. And then I'm going to use the crocodile and I'm going to use the 1 8 side. Hopefully that shows up on the arm here. But you can use a 1 8 handheld punch. But I find this crocodile is really nice on my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the 1 8 side of my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole 
right about there. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and fill up the, the little box, the treat box with some candy. And I have some Hershey Kisses, which those fit really nice. I have the silver ones, and then I also have the gold with the almonds. I guess there's really no difference, just whatever you think your friend would like. And then I also have some chocolate covered cherries. I thought maybe I'd show you if those fit. Yep, those seem to fit. So it is a fairly good sized box. So it holds quite a few of the Hershey Kisses. But I will say you don't want to fill it up too far because we're going to go ahead and be punching another hole and then we're going to be tying it. So we're just going to go ahead and use the Hershey Kisses for right now. So I'm going to put a few of those in there. That's actually five. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and seal this up with the tear and tape over here. We're going to seal that up. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and punch our other side of our hole. Let me use the 1 8 punch again on this side. Right about there. Okay, so now we have our two circles punched out, or our two holes right there. Now I got a trick for you. So we're going to thread our ribbon through there. And I'm going to be using these dental floss threaders. And I think these are mainly for braces. But I've used them for years, and I've done actually a few other videos using these threaders. So this is what the threader looks like. Let me see if I can put it on my sleeve here, see if that shows up. So it's really great for threading ribbon in really tight spaces, you know what I mean? So we're going to use this Bermuda Bay quarter inch mini striped ribbon. So let me go ahead and cut a piece of that off. I'm going to cut a fairly long piece because I'm going to actually tie it in a bow. Okay, so the idea is that you want to put your ribbon, let me grab this thing, it's so, it's just like dental floss, it's like very thin. So the idea is that you want to feed your ribbon through this loop, and then you're going to take the straight end right here, right through the hole that you're going to be pulling the ribbon through, so you're going to pull that through. Let me show you here. So you're going to poke this end right here into the punch out. And then you can pull the ribbon. I'm going to actually go ahead and feed the other one through while I have it out. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of pinch the box a little open so I can feed my fingers through there. <laughs> and then I'm going to feed that through to the other side of that other punch out that hole. Okay, so I'm going to pull this and it's going to pull the ribbon through the two circle cutouts right there. Okay, so then your ribbon is through the circles. Isn't that awesome? And then you'll just go ahead and tie your ribbon in a bow. Now mind you, this triangle box, you will have to destroy it to get to the goodies unless... I should have tried this here. Let me see. So if you squeeze it, maybe just depending on the size candy, like if they're Starburst or something, you can actually probably drop them out. Oh, look, it does come out. <laughs> so maybe you won't have to demolish the box. I guess it just depends on the size of the candy. Okay, so keep that in mind too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tie it. Very cute. So cute. All right, so let me trim those tails on that top there. Okay, so there's our triangle box. Now we're going to decorate it. That's the fun part. All right, so we're going to grab some Whisper White. So there's another good way to see the threader. And this is what they look like, at least when I bought them years ago. So you can buy these at CVS, your Myers. I believe they even have them at Kroger's, but they might be hard to find because I think they are, it says they're designed for braces, bridges, and implants. Well, they're great for threading ribbon too, let me just tell you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp our butterflies. And this is the stamp set we're using, this beautiful butterfly gala. I know we all love this stamp set, and I haven't used it in a while, so we're getting ready for spring fever here. I'm ready for summer, spring, warm temps. So we're going to go ahead and stamp our butterflies. Now, these two butterflies are attached, 
So they line up perfectly with the Butterfly Duet Punch, which we're also going to use. So we're going to go ahead and stamp our butterflies. Okay, and then we're going to stamp the bodies of the butterflies. So I have both of them, the small and the large. You want to be careful not to lose these because they are very tiny. So I have them both on one block and I'm just going to go ahead and ink them up and stamp both of the butterflies. So we're going to do the large one first. And with the stamp set being photopolymer, you can line it up really nice. Cute. All right, then we're going to go ahead and stamp our greeting onto this Whisper White Circle. Let me measure this here. This is about, let's say, two and three-eighths circle. And I use the layering circles for this. So we're going to stamp the Hello Beautiful. And it's in the same stamp set. It's right here. Hello Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to stamp this towards the bottom of our circle. All right, I think that's all the stamping. Okay, so now we're gonna use the Stampin' Blends. These are the Pool Party Combo, and we're gonna use the light and the dark for both of the butterflies. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down the, the dark color of the Pool Party first. And I'm just gonna start in the center, and then the light will be finishing it off to blend in the dark to the light. Hopefully you can see that. Let me bring that up closer here so you can see them, hopefully. It's not quite the Coastal Cabana, but you can tell that the, the markers and the paper, they do go nicely together. All right, so then this is the butterfly duet punch. Remember how he said the stamp is attached and the punch will punch both of them out at the same time, which is nice. Looks good. We'll punch this one out. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to attach this black piece, this piece of scallop circle here to the Hello Beautiful piece. I'm just going to use the snail for that. Okay, and we're going to pop the butterflies up. I'm going to at least use two of the large and one of the small. You can save the other small one for another project, or you can actually use it for the project yourself. But I'm just going to use the three of them. So I'm going to take one mini dimensional for each of the butterflies. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and bend up the, the wings on the butterfly. So I'm going to put this down here. And put the other one up towards the right hand side. And then the little one more towards the Hello Beautiful right about here. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to take the regular size dimensionals and we're going to put those right on the back side. Just a couple of them along the center. And this is going to be attached to the front of our triangle treat box. So cute. And then with the triangle treat box, it actually sits like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that on there. Isn't that beautiful? So then one more thing that I did add to the, the other project was I added some basic rhinestones and then I added some dazzling diamonds with the multi-purpose liquid glue. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Wink Stella. Okay, you can't go wrong with the shimmer paint or dazzling diamonds in my opinion. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add some basic rhinestones and I'm just gonna add three randomly to the greeting there. So pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. 
Okay, so then here's the other one. Isn't it beautiful? All right, so that's just another way to use the triangle treat box that's in this month's Stampin' Anonymous tutorials. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll have all the items listed down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye!